Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted a video in like four months, so I'm really nervous to film this one. You can't judge me if I'm weird or cringy or if the video is bad or if you hate me. <laughs> so we're just gonna ignore the fact that I haven't posted in a long time and then maybe I'll come out with vlogs to catch you up on my life. But I am learning from my past mistakes and am making no promises. So you'll be seeing my apartment today. Even though I moved here July 26th, so I've lived here for over five months now, which is crazy because it does not feel like five months at all. Pretty much everything you see, I have plans to either redecorate, redo, replace, reorganize, just all of the re's. I also have like six furniture items coming in the mail right now. They're supposed to get here within the next week. So maybe I should be filming this video when all of those items get here. And then the video would be a more accurate depiction of what my apartment will be looking like but i want to film the video today you'll have to wait until a future vlog to see my new furniture and now you're stuck with the furniture that i'm actually in the process of trying to replace i do have multiple cameras that i could be filming this with i actually got a new one for christmas i'm filming it with my phone because my phone makes me feel less nervous and it feels like a more casual filming experience so i hope you like the video and i'm excited to post because it makes me sad when I don't post for a long time. I feel like I'm not documenting my life very well. I don't know if that's actually a healthy thing to think. You can just live and have your life in your memories, but whatever. I talk about this a lot more in my last video, sort of the process of moving in and the general information on my apartment. I live in a one bedroom by myself in downtown Portland, Oregon. If you wanna know more, go watch my last video. <gasps> we start at the entrance to my apartment. This is my front door. I actually didn't like it when I first moved in. And when I showed people photos photos or videos of my apartment, I always made sure to know that I am aware my door is ugly. But I actually love it now. It's really grown on me and I like the contrast. You see, dark door, white wall. Now I have my fridge. I eventually want to decorate it more. I just don't have that many magnets right now. I have this one from one of my coworkers, Isabella, when she went to Germany over the summer and she brought me back a magnet that says Stuttgart. I don't actually know what that means. I'm assuming it's a city. And I have this one from another one of my coworkers, Emma, who went to London and it's a little bear on a bus. I have a super effective pan storage thing on top of my fridge. You can just super easily slide my pans in and out. And it was customizable so I could change the width of the holders based on what appliances I have. So here's my kitchen. My stove and oven are a little bit miniature. It actually does not tell me when it's done preheating. I think that's what this light is supposed to be for. And did you notice how small my sink is? <laughs> I think this is the smallest sink that I have ever seen. It's very inconvenient when washing dishes. Water splashes onto my counter and I can't even fit the big pans in there when I have to scrub them. So that's a little unfortunate. This is kind of all the storage I have. I have my food in here and my commonly used dishes in this one. I very unfortunately don't have a garbage disposal to make sure my drain doesn't get clogged. I had to get a fine mesh strainer so that absolutely no bits of food go down the drain. It actually doesn't get too gross because I got it in a pack of two. I always have one in the dishwasher, then one in the sink. And when I run the dishwasher, I take that one out, put it in the sink, take out the one that was in the sink and put it in the dishwasher. The strainers are constantly going through a cycle and I replace it like every few days. But I wish so badly I had a garbage disposal so I didn't have to worry about that. And it's kind of gross to shake the food out in the garbage. I put on my rubber gloves when I do that. And there's my dishwasher. Across from my sink, I have a closet. This is only one of two closets in my apartment and it's really small. I have some bins, toiletries, cords, clothing accessories, electronics, then any long sleeve shirts or button ups. And then we have my bathroom. I've been told by a lot of people, it's weird to have to walk through my kitchen to get to my bathroom. I guess maybe most places aren't like that. I don't have an issue with it. Unless someone has really bad diarrhea and it squirts on my kitchen. It's not really anything exciting and it's just big enough for one person. I have my squatty potty that I use every day. Uh, here's my mirror and there's my shower. I don't have a decorative shower curtain, just the necessary clear plastic one. Maybe I'll get a decorative one one day. I don't have to hide my naked naked showering body from anyone. As far as I know, there is no one that I risk being naked in front of while I'm showering. And if someone does see me while I'm showering, then that means they broke into my apartment and then I have bigger things to worry about. 
So then I have my food pantry. It fits perfectly in this little wall space next to my front door. It's made out of bamboo. Isn't that supposed to be more eco-friendly? Cause bamboo grows really quickly and easily, I think. I don't know, but it looks really good. I keep a lot of bulk items and baking stuff in here. Some appliances, my microwave, and this is like my kitchen junk drawer. It's not too horrible though. Like I can still find things. Right now I have cough drops in my beautiful fruit bowl that I thrifted, but unfortunately I can no longer store fruit there. Shortly after I first moved in, when I got this fruit bowl, I had some bananas and I think like one onion in there and it was really awful. I went to reach for one of the bananas one day and I'm not even exaggerating. Like. 30 30 fruit flies swarmed out of the fruit bowl. I almost got whiplash from whipping my head back so fast so that the fruit flies didn't hit me in the face. It was so gross. It made my apartment feel so dirty and I did not want to live here. Luckily, I had just purchased an electric fly swatter. So I ran through my apartment for like 30 minutes, swatting all of these flies, zapping them all to death. It was so satisfying knowing that I was getting rid of them, but also so disgusting. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I swept right afterwards, which is actually even kind of also really disgusting because the fly swatter just kills them and then they fall straight to the ground. So I may have been walking over fruit flies for a while until I next swept. That's my fruit fly story. And that's why I can't store fruit anywhere else other than in my refrigerator. So that's kind of a shame because having fruit on display in my beautiful fruit bowl would add such a liveliness to my apartment. But maybe Maybe I can get fake fruit, but then that would make me feel bad because I think pretty much all fake fruit is made out of plastic and I do not want to spend money on plastic fruit. <laughs> Just what is the point of that? If you're buying plastic fake fruit for decorations, that is shameful. Next to my kitchen, I have my food cart. Another great way that I am maximizing storage for my kitchen. I often have my speaker here just cause it's kind of in the middle of my apartment to play music. I have my dry rack here. Imagine if my dry rack was over there with my microwave, that would be so bad. I would have zero space. And then I have this power panel, whatever it's called, but I've never touched this cause I'm afraid I'm gonna mess something up. I do have a wine rack, unfortunately no wine. But if you do wanna fund my wine collection, you can leave a comment down below. I'll give you my Venmo and you can give me all the wine money that I have ever wanted. Cause I actually love wine. I think it's so yummy. It makes me feel fancy. I just love it. I just love a nice wine. I like dry wine. I don't like when it's too sweet. Oh, it's so yummy though. I have these hardwood floors and I think they're actually really nice. I don't know. I like the color. Then we have my dining room. Wow. I actually love this table. I also love my chairs. They're both the same exact chair. I only have two right now. Um, Just this wooden chair with a fabric seat and a fabric backing. I'll use this table if I have friends over. It's just big enough to seat four people and have a board game in the middle. I love the table. I like how the dark color wood contrasts my light floors. And that was intentional. And here's my living room. <laughs> I think this is the most underwhelming part of my apartment. But this is also the area that is most going to change in the next week. I ordered a new coffee table, TV stand, a rug, a little stool to put there just for some extra seating. I really need to get some wall decor. I feel like everyone has a couch story and I do have a couch story. Two weeks ago, my living room was completely empty and I was thinking my living room is so pathetic right now. I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace every day for like a week. One night around 11 p.m. I find this couch for only $50. It is in such nice condition. I message the guy. I say, oh my gosh, I really want this couch. Can you drive it to me and I'll pay you a little extra? He says, no, sorry, won't deliver. I'm like, shoot, I don't have a car. I don't know how I'm gonna pick up this couch. There's just absolutely no way I could have gotten this without a vehicle. So I said, hey, can you please save it for me until tomorrow night? Tomorrow at work, I'm gonna try to find someone to help me. He says, yeah, sure, only until tomorrow night though. Next day, I'm at work. I'm asking everyone that I work with if they have a truck and if they do have a truck, if they can help me pick up the couch that same night. So the odds of me finding someone were actually pretty low. And then I think, oh my gosh, I'm gonna ask some people from the wine department. I feel like they won't help me because I don't don't really work directly with them. And I just think that they have better things to do than to help this strange little boy. But then one of my coworkers, one of my coworkers from the wine department, I guess I won't say his name for his privacy. I'll call him Boba. 
He says he can help me and that he has a truck. He picked me up from my apartment, drove me to this guy's house. Fortunately, his house was super clean, so it makes me feel better about touching this fabric. Really the only damage or evidence of use whatsoever is there are some small cat scratches throughout, but that's no issue to me. So then we drive my couch back and now I have a couch. And this was my biggest obstacle in furnishing my apartment. I was just dreading trying to find a couch and then figure out how to get it here. But I finally did it and now I'm really getting the ball rolling. Everyone asks me why I have a pillow with my face on my couch. I did not just order this myself. This was a present from my grandma. I have a picture with me and my dog that passed away. So this is a sentimental gift, not just me ordering something with my face on it. This is my coffee table. Ugh, I really don't like this and it's so wobbly. I was just trying to wrap Christmas presents on here the other day and it felt like there was an earthquake. I need to resell it and do so ASAP. Otherwise, my new coffee table is gonna get here and I'm still gonna have this one. There's my TV stand. I also got this on Facebook Marketplace and am also in the process of trying to sell this because I already got my new TV stand. I'm staring at it right now. Which I actually like and it's super good quality, but it's just too wide. This is my second window. I often have the blinds closed because my building is in a U shape. I live on the end of one of the legs of the U and this window faces the inside of the other leg and it points directly at my neighbor's window. And I don't want them to see me filming this. And they wonder, what is that little boy doing with his phone walking around his apartment recording himself? I don't think they're crazy. I met them and they seem really nice, but I don't want them to watch me. Um, I have a cool penguin book. This is my penguin book that I will soon put on my new coffee table. Cause it's not an actual book that you read. It's just one of those decorative books that looks good sitting on a surface. It's so cool. I got this for only $5 and look, it has pictures of penguins. Just simple things. Isn't that so cute? Really good quality photos and it just keeps going. It's got every photo of a penguin you could ever even imagine. Aw, that's so cute. Look at that baby penguin. It reminds me of the movie Happy Feet. Oh, <gasps> see, this is so cool. <gasps> Whoa. Aw. That's my lamp. That's my current junk corner. I have a ceiling fan and a telephone, which is supposed to talk on an intercom in the lobby. And if I press this button, it used to let people in, but it broke like a month ago, which is really sad. But it's kind of a cool part of my apartment, this old phone that I need to get fixed. I guess the courteous thing to do would be to walk downstairs to let people in that are visiting me. But if it's a close friend, I don't wanna have to go all the way down to let them in. <laughs> they can come to me. And I just wanna press my little button to unlock the front door, but my little button does not work. I think there's also supposed to be some way that I can let people in through my phone, like my actual cell phone, but I never set that up with my apartment manager, which I guess is my fault. I need to reach out to them because that would be really convenient. Especially if the mailman comes and they can't get in the lobby, then they don't have to find a new time later in the week to, li to deliver my package. Maybe they'll just call me. I don't know if they would actually do that though. I just need to fix my phone. What if I have eight people arriving for a party and all eight people get here at different times? Am I supposed to walk all the way downstairs eight different times? That would take like so many time of my day and I would have no time in my day to do anything else except I would just be letting people in all day long and it would never end. And then I have to walk people all the way downstairs if I wanna be a nice person. What kind of freaking inception is this? And I like this column that kind of separates my dining room, living room from my kitchen foyer. I recognize that this is not a column because I think by definition a column is a vertical structure and this is going exactly horizontally but you know what I mean it's a long strip of wood that is on my ceiling so whatever it's a sideways column I'm sure I could decorate that somehow and now we go through my bedroom there's my bed with my poop pillow I just put this rug down I got it like seven months ago but when I moved into my apartment I accidentally left it at my mom's but I just went to my mom's a few days ago she reminded me of this rug I was I was like, uh, I don't actually know if it'll fit in my apartment very well, but I'll try to find a spot for it. And it looks so good in my bedroom. I was so excited when I laid this down. It really brings everything together. And it has a certain design where it feels like I brew potions or I'm just a little old lady that loves her apartment, which is true, except I'm not an old lady, but I love my apartment and I love my rug. Then I have my dresser. This is my favorite furniture piece in my whole apartment. It just looks so cool. The handles are cool. You just grab this and you pull it out. Wow, do you love my dresser as much as I do? 
Clothes storage, shelf thing with drawers. Look, I have a whole drawer just for gift wrapping supplies. This is my dream desk. It's the perfect depth, so I can have my computer and something in front of me that I'm working on. The perfect width, and I have an amazing windowsill that is so deep right in front of my desk. I guess I could turn on these lights. I get a lot of compliments on my shelf. And look, I have a classic ceramic piggy bank. Then back to my bed. I also have a ceiling fan in here. Oh, and here is my other closet. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. The door handle fell off. As you can see, I'm trying to really maximize all of the space. I could only fit a few more t-shirts here. So yeah, that's my apartment. <gasps> I hope you love it. I actually love living here. Of course, there are some things about the space that if I could magically change, I probably would. Like having a garbage disposal. I sadly don't have a unit washing and drying machine. I wish I had AC for the summertime. Uh, I wish there was a window in my bathroom. I wish I got direct sunlight. You know, I could go on and on about things that I wish I could change, but I really like my apartment. I love the layout. It's not too expensive. And I just had a really good experience here so far. I hope you like my apartment tour. Maybe more videos to come in the near future. Who knows? I just, I don't know. It's hard for me to make videos sometimes because I get so nervous about how good they'll turn out. And I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to making things, but nothing's ever perfect. So I should not even worry. <gasps> Hey everyone, I actually had a final sentence where I said thanks for watching goodbye, but I took that out because I'm gonna put this in instead. I just finished editing the entire video. I just need to put in my little interruptions here, but I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. And it's weird to think that literally anyone is going to, I wanna say is going to, because I'm hoping that at least one person does watch this video the whole way through. Just the fact that someone is going to watch this entire video is crazy to me. And thank you for caring enough about my life and this random video that I filmed. And now I'm here giving you my thank you message. YouTube is just so fun how I can share anything I want and then people watch my life. I'm so excited to post this video. First video in a long time and first video of 2024. <gasps> oh my gosh.